Both teenagers and adults fall victim to dangerous habits behind the wheel. And in Springdale, perhaps none of these hit closer to home than the act of texting while driving. Lives have been lost and families have been forever torn apart by these simple messages. And our East program at Harbor High School has used the Project Ignition Grant to put an end to it. I am the project manager of the Texting and Driving Initiative at Harbor East. My job is basically to make sure everything gets done on time and make sure everybody's doing the job they're supposed to be doing. I could look out the window and every other person you'd pass would have a phone in your hand. It makes you wonder who, who is so important to talk to that you would take your eyes off the road for that amount of time and risk an injury or a death or something like that. We began the year with ambitions to compose a documentary about texting and driving and what the community is doing to stop it. But we realized this project could be so much more due to our involvement with a local organization known as TextFace. Our purpose and our mission is to take on a generation that's dying to communicate. Taking on this generation does not mean necessarily just focusing on teens and novice drivers, but also on the parents and the family because it is a family issue. Families are being um, impacted. So to get our point across, education has to happen. Well, I knew it was unsafe to text and drive, but I didn't realize how bad it actually was. Like, and I didn't really know anything. I didn't know Arkansas had laws on texting while driving, and I also didn't realize how many people die and are injured a year because of it. Through this community partnership, our team decided to plan and host a texting and driving awareness event at Harbor on March 15th, at which we would premiere our documentary and allow our students to experience a virtual driving simulator. We had the chance, the perfect chance, to talk to the target audience in the best possible way that we possibly could. I mean, we go to this high school, um, the people who are doing the most texting and driving are the ones um, in school, they're driving, and I mean, they, they're, they're young and they're reckless and they think they're invincible. The $2,000 we received from State Farm at NYLC through the Project Ignition Grant has gone towards both promotional materials for our events such as t-shirts and posters, as well as a custom-built computer our students have used for video editing and the creation of these promotional materials. Our team wrote, filmed, and edited our documentary, which focused on Mariah West, an 18-year-old girl who was killed as a result of distracted driving. We also included a portion of the documentary focused on TextFace and how they are educating our community on the dangers of texting and driving. Following the premiere of our documentary at our event, we burned it onto DVDs to make it more easily accessible for future use. I did text and drive before I was on this project and now I don't. I also um, make sure and keep my family from doing it as well and act as a designated texter for anyone I ride with. It's plain to see, to me at least, just what the dangers are and how dis distracting and dangerous that those activities are. I'm not going to do it and I'm going to help tell the people I see doing it. I mean that it's, it's dangerous and that they shouldn't. At Harbor High School, our team has used the Project Mission Grant to educate students on the obvious dangers of texting and driving. And we are still striving to make a lasting difference in our community by whatever means possible. <laughs>